Here are five straightforward steps to easily find scholarly articles for your research paper. Make sure you watch till the end of this video because I will give you a trick to access even the scholarly articles that are hidden behind paywalls. Have a clear research question. The first step to finding scholarly articles for your research paper is to have a clear research question. Having a clear research question can make it easy to find scholarly articles and begin writing your research paper. Here is an example of an unclear research question. What can people do to prevent diabetes? If you tried to find scholarly sources for such a general research question, you would retrieve thousands, if not millions, of scholarly articles that would not relate to the research question. Here is another example of a clear research question. What are the most effective strategies to prevent gestational diabetes? This is an example of a clear research question that would make it easy for you to retrieve scholarly articles. This research question clearly identifies a specific population of study, which in this case are pregnant mothers who are at a higher risk of gestational diabetes. Such a clear research question would produce fewer but more relevant scholarly articles to use in your research paper. The second step to find scholarly articles for your research paper is to identify the main keywords or key phrases in your research question. For example, for the research question, what are the most effective strategies to prevent gestational diabetes? The main keywords are prevent and gestational diabetes. To get the main keywords or key phrases from your research question, just remove the conjunctions. Number three, identify the scholarly databases related to your research topic. The third step to easily find scholarly articles for your research paper is to identify the scholarly databases related to your research topic. You can easily find scholarly databases related to your topic by googling scholarly databases and then adding your discipline of study at the end. For example, for a research question, what are the most effective strategies to prevent gestational diabetes? We can see that such a research question falls within the health and healthcare discipline. We can head to Google and try to search for scholarly databases in the health discipline. When we search scholarly databases in the health discipline, we can see that one of the most reputable websites, which is called libraryguide.com, recommends three primary scholarly databases in the health discipline, including CINAHL, OVID, and PubMed. We will use the keywords from our research question to retrieve scholarly articles from these databases. Number four, use your keywords to search for scholarly articles from the identified databases. The fourth step in retrieving scholarly articles when writing a research paper is using the keywords we identified from our research question to retrieve the most relevant scholarly articles from the databases. Remember, we identified three reputable scholarly databases for the health discipline, including CINAHL, OVID, and PubMed. Most of the time, just one database will be enough to produce sufficient scholarly articles that you can use for your research paper. In this case, I will use PubMed, so let's search PubMed on Google. After going to PubMed, we will use our keywords and key phrases to retrieve scholarly articles. We are also going to be using Boolean operators to narrow our search results. Boolean operators are simple words including AND, or not and not used as conjunctions to combine or exclude keywords in a search. Boolean operators will make our search results more accurate. So let's go to PubMed and search our keywords which are prevent gestational diabetes. We are going to use and as our main Boolean operator. So I will copy and paste the keywords from the research question fixing and between the keywords. You can see we get at least 10 relevant articles on the first page of PubMed. Number five, choose the most relevant scholarly articles by skimming through the abstract. The fifth and final step to retrieve scholarly articles when writing a research paper will be to skim through the abstract of the articles that are most relevant to our research question. We are going to prioritize the most current sources. I only consider sources published within the past five years. For instance, the oldest scholarly article I would consider in 2023 would be an article published earliest 2018. Our research produced at least three scholarly articles at the top of our page, which falls within five years. I believe there are other articles on the other pages that we can use for our research paper. So 
That's how we find scholarly articles when writing a research paper. Now, here is a bonus. How do you access scholarly articles behind a paywall? You will notice that if we try to import some of the articles to the citation and reference management tools, such as Utero, the PDFs are not accessible. For many of these articles, you have to subscribe to the journals where they are published to access them or pay a one-off fee. Now, imagine paying at least $30 for 15 articles you require for your research paper. Such costs are just simply prohibitive. But don't worry, there is a tool that helps you access any article by just copy-pasting the DOI, which is the Digital Object Identifier. The tool is called Sci-Hub. So let's just head to Sci-Hub and try to open an article behind a paywall. We will try to access this article. You copy and paste the DOI on the Sci-Hub search bar and boom, Sci-Hub retrieves the article. You can download the PDF of the article and upload it on a citation and reference manager such as Zotero. Here you can annotate and easily cite the article for your research paper. Thank you for watching. If you got value from this video, make sure you like and subscribe because it will help with the algorithm. Eventually, more students like you will see this video and learn how to find scholarly articles for their research papers.